what effect can cosmetic products have on dermal stem cells? The area of stem cell research is a really new one. And what we have seen so far is that their regenerative potential for the constant cell and skin renewal is a very, very important one. So that really is the resource for the skin cells to renew themselves constantly. And what with cosmetics is really the main target is to protect these stem cells because they are relatively to other stem cells in the body close to the surface means that they are also endangered by, for example, UV rays. And that's the reason why they really need also protection. So they should be protected by cosmetics within their stem cell niche, which is at the hair follicle for epidermal stem cells, the so-called bulge region, and then the dermal stem cells at the hair bulb. So that is the aim really to protect stem cells from factors that can um, uh, can be damaging to them in order to protect and to maintain this regenerative potential. There has been a lot of buzz concerning plant stem cells lately. So what effect can they have on the skin's properties? We see a lot of different activities of plant stem cells. The reason is that plant stem cells are able to produce a broad variety of different active molecules and the difficulty and the challenge is to identify the active molecules produced by plant stem cells and to use their potential to improve skin quality. For example, there can be a plant stem cell based active which is um, for example a Cebules from our range which is able to um, to act on sebum production, to act on the um, development of acne, of, um, to reduce propionibacterium acnes, and to reduce hyperkeratosis, so fractals that contribute to acne development. So here we have a quite specific activity on this um, skin problem that might occur. On the other hand, there can be an active which is able to reduce signs of senescence. So for example, age spots in our range that would be senestem. And we have um, a third very interesting new launch, which is Magestem, an active that is able to improve the mitochondrial network, which also contributes to good viscoelastic properties in the skin. So this active is positioned to have a lifting effect on sagging skin. So you can see that we have a very broad variety of different activities that we can find in plants themselves. And besides from being the only way to get these molecules, it's also a very sustainable way to produce new active molecules. So this also fits perfect in the current requirements of customers and final consumers. And what potential do you see for plants themselves in the future? Well, based on what we have seen so far, there is the hope that there might be other secondary metabolites, so molecules that haven't been identified so far, which offer, well, unknown but interesting activities for the treatment of skin, for skin aging or to, pro to, to protect skin against aging processes, and that will the future show how we can improve um, our um, yeah, knowledge about these activities and I think in a few years we will have discovered new activities, new interesting properties of these plant stem cell derived molecules which will offer new possibilities in the cosmetics area.